My name is Haley Fries. I am 25 years old. I grew up in Axtell, Nebraska, and am living in Pleasanton, Nebraska now. I skate here in Kearney. I started skating when the arena opened back in 2000, and I was seven. I got into figure skating by my mom dragging me to the rink. She wanted me to do the Learn to Skate program, and so we got on the ice, and I fell in love with it ever since. I started skating and competing, and I would come here to the arena twice a week before school, six o'clock, and then I'd drive back to Axtell where I lived to go back to school. And then on weekends, I'd go to Omaha, three o'clock in the morning, skate for an hour, then come home. They had a figure skating club here when it opened. It was the Greater Platte Valley Figure Skating Club. And there was a coach here in Kearney, and then she passed away with a brain aneurysm in 2005. And so that's when I started uh, having a coach in Omaha. I competed all over the U.S. I went from anywhere to California, Texas, um, Chicago, to Florida, and Colorado. Competing, uh, one that pops in my head is the Broadmoor Open, because that was my first performance in the dark, lights out, spotlight on you, and that feeling was amazing. It made you just want to perform and show off to the crowd. My favorite would be jumps, just because it's a challenge and you fall down, you get back up. My favorite moment would have had to have been when I landed my axle for the very first time. My coach here in Kearney, she's still alive at the time, she, her excitement, my excitement, we jumped, we, we hollered, I think the whole arena heard us. I stopped competing after I graduated high school in 2011. I was focused on schooling, college. In 2015, I completely stopped going to Omaha randomly just because my mom got awfully sick with cancer. When my mom passed away, uh, actually the week of her passing, I promised her that I was going to continue to skate in her name because she got me out here on the ice, drug me out for the first time, and that's how I fell in love with it. So I told her right before she passed that that's one thing that I'm going to continue to do, and every time I step on the ice, I'm going to think of her. My first coach, she motivated me hardcore. She, um, she really pushed me, and after she passed, um, this is crazy, but I had a dream and she said, no matter what, continue skating. And even though like she passed, I felt like it was um, something I needed to continue in, in her name. And then now since my mom passed, it's something that really motivates me to keep going. Right now, I am just teaching with the Learn to Skate program and skating twice a week here in Kearney. The Learn to Skate program started when the arena opened and that's how I got into it. And seeing those coaches while they were coaching me really got me into wanting to coach. Like, they motivated me. And now that I'm coaching, I want to keep going with my students. I want them to have the same experience that I had and get them to love skating. I continue to skate and coach here in Kearney um, just to, in honor of my mother and the, how much I love it. I want other girls to fall in love with skating like I did. Figure skating has made me a stronger person, um, more outgoing, a performer. I love to entertain people. Figure skating is, it's a feeling that I have that it's, it's my stress reliever, it's, it's my go-to. I get on the ice and everything disappears. I skate and have a blast.